Hello friends, I want to share with you a dream that came to me on Christmas night, 25th of December at night or the early morning of 26th December, however you want to look at it. It's not quite the gift I was looking for for Christmas Day. Nonetheless, it turned out to be a treasure in another way that I didn't expect. So let me share the dream with you. In the dream, I was in a large, large house and there were people from all walks of life in that house. And I just noticed that there are all kinds of people here. And I understood very quickly when I woke up that that represented America. There's certain things you just know in a dream without having to figure it out. And all of a sudden in the house, there were invaders who came in and they were trespassing and they came with weaponry. But the quality I noticed about them is that they were very immature, they were very young and juvenile. They seemed like delinquents and hooligans and they had weaponry and they were loving the, the chaos and the running amok because they just came in and were delighting in the power that was given to them and they were ready to terrorize. Now everybody starts fleeing and I understood that I was not supposed to get involved in the physical battle. I just simply understood that I had to be hidden. So I am looking for a place to hide and there's very quickly I see a sofa and below the sofa is a very narrow, narrow place because it's a sofa. And so I managed to get in there. I just didn't even hesitate and I went in there and I fit in the narrow place. So I'm hiding in the narrow place and I know that there's all this commotion and conflict above air, it seems, around me, but nobody can see me. And the thing that really caught my attention is I was so peaceful and so calm. I could not even believe it. I was so surprised by myself that I was in a rested state, I was relaxed, and it wasn't disturbing me. The fact that everything seemed to be in an uproar above the sofa. It felt like it was above ground. And then it seemed like it was coming to the end of that season of being the house being trespassed and these hands, they had found me and they placed their hands just on the side of me. And even then I wasn't even scared. And I was so impressed that I was in this calm, re relaxed state. But at the moment that they just began to touch me, everything seemed to cease because the police arrived. <laughs> the police arrived and the trespassers were taken away they went outside the house and we were all outside and they were being lined up and handcuffed and order was being restored now what i remember is that season did not really last very long so it was just for a short while it felt like but i was so glad that through it all i had this peace that surpasses all understanding of course it comes only from the lord jesus and this is why i say it really was a gift after all because even though this came on christmas day a dream about war who would want that on christmas day nonetheless it was a treasure because i felt so comfortable and secure in the midst of a dream about war and the Lord was trying to show me that prepare yourself, but know that I am your hiding place and I am your refuge. So I've come to see that, yes, war is inevitable. We are seeing it and it began with Russia's invasion in Ukraine in 2022. And then in 2023, we had Israel and Hamas conflicting and it's still going on. And I believe in 2024, America's next. Already everything is up in the air. There's so much dissension, but 
I do feel like the dream was confirming there's going to be a physical war in America, but not to be afraid, but to seek the Lord, set our eyes on him, because we, as his children, have access to the kingdom of God within. There is a land flowing with milk and honey, and it is within us. We gain access through the blood of Jesus. So I thought I would share that with you. Be prepared for tumults and storms and shakings, but know that you really can be in a rested state. You really can be peaceful in the midst of any conflict or storm when we are securely hidden in the narrow place in the Lord. So that's the preparation because it's not about storing food and mapping out a plan. Our plan is the Lord Jesus. He's the plan. Yes, Jesus is the plan, the ultimate plan. Let's look at some scriptures. Psalm 32, 7. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. And I love these scriptures on God's protection. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. And thou shalt be secure. Because there is hope. Yea, thou shall dig about thee and thou shalt take thy rest in safety also thou shalt lie down and none shall make thee afraid yeah many shall make suit unto thee the lord shall preserve thee from all evil he shall preserve thy soul the Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yeah, thou shalt lie down and thy sleep shall be sweet. And who is he that will harm you? If ye be followers, of that which is good. First Peter 3.13 The beloved of the Lord shall dwell in safety by him, and the Lord shall cover him all the day long, and he shall dwell between his shoulders.